Hey y'all, my name is Will Myers and I help teach coding stuff all around Squarespace and all the CSS and HTML and JavaScript stuff. Today we're gonna learn about how do we vertically align the content like this in a summary block. So this is the list layout of a summary block, but the, typically the items are aligned right here at the top. So how do we make it vertically aligned, vertically centered like this? Let's jump into that right now. All right, we're back to our default layout right here. Um, let's jump into, let's just talk about what we wanna do. So first, this content right here, you notice it's all at the top. Squarespace doesn't give an, us an option to vertically align the content. We can change the width of our, our list layout right in here. So if I jump into our summary block, go to design, we're on our list. You know, you can change the image size. You can adjust that a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it at 50. The aspect ratio, the alignment, you can do all this stuff but you can't change the alignment, the vertical alignment of this content. Um, and that just has to do with the way Squarespace set these summary blocks up initially, probably way back in the day um, before some of the tools that we're going to be using, some of the CSS we'll be using today, specifically Flexbox, uh, was actually wasn't around, I think, when Squarespace first put in these summary blocks. That's my guess, I don't know, but that is my guess. Um, so we want to be playing around with layout and whenever we're adjusting with layout or styles, we're typically looking at CSS. So I'm in my design custom CSS area. Um, and what I want to do is vertically align this. So whenever I think about vertically aligning something, my mind immediately goes to flex or grid. So we need to be using Flexbox or grid, CSS grid, either one of those. I have a course on CSS grid that's all about page layouts, if you're interested in that. Uh, nah, I talk a little bit about Flexbox in my, my big CSS course, uh, but hope to do more on Flexbox in the future because it's kind of powerful. So let's talk about the first thing I want to do. The first thing I want to do is target this summary block. So I'm going to use our Squarespace ID Finder tool. This is in the Chrome Web Store if you don't already have it grab our block ID and add these opening, closing curly brackets because now all the code that we write is only going to apply to this one specific summary block, not everyone on our website, which is what we want. We don't want it happening to everything on our website. Um, so let's jump into the code here. So what I'm looking to target, ooh, don't want it in a new page. We want it uh, inspect. We want it right here. What I'm looking to target is this content right here. This summary block is made up of two elements. So if I hover over maybe just this content right here, see the whole content block is highlighted, so I know that's it. We have our summary content and the summary thumbnail. These are the two items within every single summary block in Squarespace. And these are the two, only two children elements contained within our summary item element right here. So this is what we wanna change. To adjust the vertical alignment of this element right here, our container, its parent container has to be flex. And this is the parent container summary item. So let's just copy this target right there and then add display flex to it, display colon flex. Now this item is a flex container and we can use all of these other properties that come along with flex because it is a flex container. And notice it switched around. So the default of the flex container is to put things in a row all right next to each other, not stack them. And we can change all these properties and then they're put into a row by the order of the HTML. So that's why this flipped over and our summary thumbnail is first and our summary content is next. We can change that by going flex, let's say flex direction is the property. Direction, we can say column to stack them. Now the flex direction is on top. Uh, we can say row is the default. We can also say row reverse. And so now that's gonna flip all the items. So if we had like three items, all three would be flipped. Um, so that is what this row reverse does. Um, and now we can use this align items property. And again, this can only be used if the display of the same element is flex or grid. Uh, but our align items, we can just say center like that. It's that simple. It's pretty, pretty great. Um, one other thing we might want to play around with, if you look at our summary content, um, you might want to add some padding in there. So I'm going to just add some padding. I'm just going to say summary, summary content. We're targeting that is this element right here. I'm going to say uh, padding, 
padding 17 pixels. Now let's just play around with some of this. So that sort of pushed it all in. Let's play around with some of this um, just so you can understand everything that's going on a little more. So our align items, another option we can say is start. So now it's gonna do, it's gonna align to the top. This is the start of the box that it's in. We can also say end, and that's gonna be at the end, the bottom down here of whatever box that it's in. So e each one of these is gonna be aligned to the bottom. Um, so that is just some other properties we can play around with. Let's, right now we have our images set to auto. Let's play around, let's see if there's something different that happens if we go to aspect ratio to square. Um, this is, we're just, we're just testing now. We're just doing a bunch of little tests uh, to make sure everything looks good. Okay, you know, this is just kind of looking good. This is kind of what I want it to do. Now let's look at it on mobile. Now this is probably not what I want. This might be, this actually isn't that bad of a layout on mobile, um, but I probably want to stack them on top. So what we're going to do is at media query and when the max width of the screen is smaller than 767 pixels, uh, when the width of the screen is smaller than 767 pixels, this is kind of our default layout for mobile, um, we want to change the flex direction, right? Remember we, we talked about this flex direction earlier. So I'm gonna copy that summary item, opening and closing curly brackets, and let's just go flex direction, let's just say column. And now it's there, but these items aren't going full width. So why not? Let's target them and look at it. Um, and I think this has to do with right up here. So these summary thumbnail containers right here. So you see each one of these, these are set to the 50%, which is what we have in our summary block. So this is our design summary block our image size, so 50%, this is what gets set on that element. And this is good when they're next to each other, that's kind of what you want, right? But not necessarily on mobile. You, we want them to be going full width. So I can target all of our summary item children elements, which is just the two, but this is just a, a quick syntax. This is doing our summary item, target the summary item. Then this is direct children, only the direct children, and this is everything any type of element, uh, a class or a, a tag name or an ID, any type of element, it's gonna grab them all. And I'm just gonna say width 100% and then say important. And we have to use our little important tag here. Just do a quick resize so it looks good. Um, you have to use our important tag here because Squarespace has added in these right here, this width, it's, on, it's an inline style. Anything that's an inline style, we can only override it in our custom CSS using this important tag. So that's why we needed to add that. And there's one other thing that I missed, so I'm gonna jump in and fix this right now. So as you can see on mobile, we have more space on the left edge over here than the right edge. Um, and that is coming from this image right here. So if I jump into our web inspector again, select our image, you notice our summary, summary thumbnail container has that, that left padding there, and that's still on mobile. That, see that green? That's the padding. Um, so we need to jump into our summary thumbnail container right here. So I'm gonna target that. So we have our summary item, which is the entire item. Then the item has our content and our image container. So let's just target that. It's a class, so we need that dot. Uh, and then within it, I'm gonna target just this A, this A element right there. And I'm gonna say padding left zero PX. Um, okay, so that is good. And that is, um, that is also, let's see if that looks good on mobile. There we go. And earlier when I added this 17 pixels padding into the summary content, I was like, why do we need that? It didn't really look like we needed it. Um, but, because I just remember that from the code I was putting together to test it. But without it, you see it's very much right there on the edge. So that is why we need this summary content padding in there. Okay, so there it is. Now we're set. Now we are vertically aligned. I have some other tutorials coming up that is gonna do more with these list sections. And this is kind of the, the base setup that you need. So that's what this tutorial was from. I might, the code on my website that you get might look a little different than what we've created here, uh, just based on more testing over the next weeks or months or years, um, just to make account for any changes Squarespace has made or anything else that pops up. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I'm happy to help out and I hope you have a great day.